You said you were trying to buy a house, right? You're a travel nurse, a travel CNA, travel phlebotomist, a travel surgeon, a travel EKG, a travel pharmacy tech. <clears throat> okay? You a travel nurse, whatever. You can still buy a property. You can still invest in yourself. Who said you couldn't? I have four things that you can fix up your credit as we speak. Four things. First, did you um, <clears throat> register with a shelf? Self. Self. That will help you boost up your credit. Two, kickoff is another one. Three, there's a called Karma Rental. It will help you boost up your credit also as well. Put in your information, put in your rental information. They probably email or text your landlord. And the fourth one, do you have a bank account? Do you have a credit unit? Go down there and ask for you want a uh, secure credit card. Put a lease between $1,000 into the account. That will actually help. All the rest of your bills, start disputing. You do not need to pay anybody to help you book, to clear your credit. You can keep that money to yourself. Listen, I'm telling you because this is what I have done. I hired somebody to help me fix up my credit. It was going up 5 points, 10 points, 8 points, 10 points. So it's moving slow for me. Like, what's the really going on? Yes, student loans is not going to get off your credit, but you can delete them. <coughs> you can delete them off of it, or you start making payment plans so right about now, and that would help too. If you delete it off your credit, you will still have, you will still be the responsibility of your credit, um, your student loans, no matter what. But right about now, go get a deferment. But then you can start record catching up on your payments. Because the next payment will be maybe until August. For me, it's in August. August or September, one of them. <coughs> but you can dispute everything off your credit. If you have medical bills, an eviction, um, medical bills, you can get that off. There's a letter you can do. I'm sending it to you. I got this off of TikTok. Yes, off of TikTok. Copy that letter. Put in your date, your information, the credit bearer, address, the account number, to whom, how much was that bill is. Put it there. So you're going to do this three times for all three of them. That's all you have to do. And you're going to mail this every 30 days the next one is the same thing this is not for the eviction this is under the under the federal credit report action make a copy of this screenshot it same way minute every 30 days Oh, that's the same thing. Or you go in Google and put in um, 609 dispute letters. You'll copy that letter, the same format, put your name, put the act, put the date, the credit bureau, your social security number, your day of birth, your information, your address, your name, and Meta, get a copy of your ID and a copy of your social. If your ID, where you live on your ID do not match, get a copy of your bill and send it off with them, with the paper. You are to do this every 30 days. I guarantee you will save money in your own pocket, disputing your own information. All you have to do, just put in, if you got an eviction, just send dispute eviction letters. On Google, you can Google a lot of stuff. Sorry, y'all, y'all can't understand. I got a <coughs> when the weather change. Ooh, better when the weather change. I got sick real quick. So, 
That's all you have to do. You can dispute your own information. You trying to buy a house next year, or maybe in two years. Dispute the stuff for yourself. You don't need nobody else. Keep that money in your pocket. What, everybody trying to charge you 40 or $80? I will see if I can link it in the description, but you also can put dispute old address forms too, or go on the TikTok and say dispute letters. There's somebody already giving you information how to view old information. If your your credit report have old addresses and old phone numbers, get a format, make up your own, and say this is not my address. This is the former address. These are my own. Remove this in 30 days. Dispute the shit yourself. Yeah, I said it. Dispute the shit to damn self. You don't need nobody else to dispute your shit by yourself. For you, keep the money in your pocket. Fix your own damn credit. I'm telling you, fix your own credit. Keep the money in your pocket. I'm telling y'all, keep the money in your pocket. Talk to y'all on the next one.